Now, um, other figures of the Gas House Gang that kind of reflect why the St. Louis Cardinals really connected during the Great Depression. One of them was Pepper Martin. Apparently, he, got his, he was one of the most popular of the Gas House Gang players. Nicknamed Pepper because he brought spice to the gang, apparently. Um, came from a poor Oklahoma family. So that's so symbolic, right? Oklahoma, they experienced the Dust Bowl during the Great Depression, um, w which had kind of destroyed much of the farmland. Um, and so it's kind of poetic that he comes from there. Um, many have said he's not the most natural talent, but played with complete abandon. Uh, apparently well known for his belly flop slides, um, his you know, aggressive style of play. And so he kind of represented the every man of the Depression era, right? Who just makes it work. Now, he was, in addition to being a really relatable sports hero, a pretty talented comedic entertainer. This was his band that he created, the Pepper Martin Band. <laughs> I think that was pretty funny. They all used their baseballs too. This is the kind of goofy stuff the Gas House Gang would do before their games. And so definitely reflecting the whole ballyhoo appeal of baseball in this era. Just everything crazy. You know, to entertain people, to get attention. Um, like I said, I, I want to say a little more about Dizzy Dean. He is one of the towering figures of this era. He was the pitching ace of the Gas House Gang. He won 30 games in 1934 with an ERA of 2.66, which is pretty good. Um, really good, actually. One of his most famous sayings, it ain't bragging if you can back it up. Uh, I guess he, um, at the beginning of the season, said he and his brother Paul, who also pitched for the Cardinals, said, yeah, we're going to win 40 games this year. And everybody's like, yeah, right. Well, he won 30, and I think his brother won about 17. So they actually went way past that. Um, so really successful year from the Cardinals. And then, I can't help mentioning, he became a broadcaster later and was really famous for both his wit and his often really colorful butchering of the English language. Um, one of the things he was known for saying is, oh, he shouldn't ought to, oh, how did he put it? He shouldn't have an ought to swang. <laughs> something crazy like that. So something you could hardly understand. His grammar was so crazy. Um, but it made him very beloved by a number of baseball fans. And he would eventually do national broadcasts on some of the major networks. 